Been a dramatic round five of the East Coast Bull Bars Australian Rally Championship here, Coats Hire Rally Australia. And before we speak to our podium place getters, Tony Sullins and the Citroen, right to the very end, it keeps biting this event. It does, I'll tell you, God. Last stage, having a bit of a go, probably shouldn't have been going quite so hard. Um, tightening corner just caught me out a little bit and soft roll into the bush and... We're here, Man. but holy this hell. This must be one of the toughest weekends of rallying you've done, I reckon. It would be, by far. I can't yeah. remember the last time I've been kicked and got back up yeah. that many times. So, Brendo, with your dramas, you just been on the podium, but we wanted to chat to you, mate. Another leg win. You were an operation fight back and you've done your job. It's important for the championship, isn't it? Yeah, the last two days have been very important for us. Uh, we got maximum points both days. Just really disappointed about Friday. Not much we could do there, but anyway, Scotty's been lucky, I think, to get through today myself, seeing how many dramas they've had <laughs> and got through. Just unbelievable. But anyway, we'll fight on for Ali Victoria. <laughs> Third place, Team Citroen Australia, Adrian Kopp and Tim Batten. You would not have thought that was going to happen on Friday, would you? What a weekend. Like, Friday, seventh place, 16 minutes behind. Like, there's no way I would have thought we'd be, standing, we'd be able to stand on the podium this afternoon and spray some champagne. So, you know, big testimony to how strong the car is and, you know, and the boys that kept us going all weekend. We threw everything at them and they, they just kept us out there. So, you know, big thanks to them. Absolutely. Tim Batten, you've been around this sport long enough to know. You just have to keep keeping on. Yeah, look, I've been around the sport, as you know, for a while, and this young buck here hasn't been around that long, and I've sort of tried to calm him down on Friday and said, mate, it's not over till it's over. we just got to get back in a rhythm, get things happening for the next couple of days, put some times down. You know, basically, Brendan was our benchmark for this rally, so basically see how close we can get to him, you know, and uh, never give up. And, you know, as Possum Morton said, we didn't. No, you didn't give up at all. And, of course, that helps your championship. I mean, it's going to be difficult for you to win from here, but you're still in with a chance of a second, even. Yeah, I'm not too sure how it works out with the championship, uh, to be honest. Like, the main thing was, like I said to you, all weekend just wanted to finish. So, you know, today was much better. We actually got a good, consistent run in. You know, Tim was great on the notes and we got through everything and it was just about some bum in seat time before Victoria. The second place, Mick Patton and Bernie Webb. Awesome job, great weekend. Yes, yeah, at last. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a long eight weeks since uh, packing the truck early on a Thursday before Rally South Australia. but. Um, the team has just done a fantastic job and, and this weekend's been a very, very difficult one. But, um, yeah, no, we've, we've made it and the car's been great, which is the main thing. And, and that's what we've been trying to achieve. The podium is fantastic, but uh, just getting the car here in one piece and not having any issues, dramatic issues, is unreal. Very, very pleased. Bernie, you've won plenty of things, but this is a special moment for you guys. It is, absolutely. Look, Mick and I have been working really hard on this for a long time, working on driving, working on the car, making it reliable, putting a good team together. And look, our boys have dug really deep the last couple of weeks. It was soul-destroying for them for us to decide to, to pull a pin. But look, it's absolutely worth it. You know, what we needed to do was to get the car right before we raced it, and you know, the results have shown. Now, the results has been there for a couple of days, and I've been keep hounding you when I'm trying to get you out here. And you've done it now, you can express it. I went mean, through all those tough times. This is what it's all about, this feeling you've got right now. Yeah, look, I, I think it's um, it just hasn't hit me yet. No. It, it just hasn't sunk in. Like, the fact that we've made it primarily is, is just been something that I have, have been sitting, you know, in bed, laying at night, going, staring at the roof, going, I've just got to get this car sorted and make it. But, um, yeah, look, once I, uh, once I realise that what's happened is, um, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it'll sink in and, and it'll be good as gold. Round five winners, Scott Petter, Darren Moskett. The smile said it all when you drove in, mate. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, I should be happy, but it's, it's more <laughs> stress relief. Uh, unbelievable day. Just uh, one of the, probably one of the hardest stressful days I've ever had in rallying. Just car dramas and good times and bad times and, you know, just and weird dramas at the worst particular um, places. So, but it's so fantastic. You know, the Walkinshaw guys done a great job and I reckon I've got the best team in the world. Dale. From Friday, you've been managing it. That's part of the emotion that Scott's talking about. It's hard to do that, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. It's the hardest way to drive a rally is when you when you've got a lead and you and you need to manage it. So, you know, I think on the on the actual stage performance wise and our pace, I think we managed it well. Um, a few little issues along the way, but this is an endurance round, so I guess you have to put up with that. Uh, came into today, as you say, in a bit of a conservative mode. Punched out a 19 second lead on the first stage and thought, okay, we've got this now. And then boom, 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 we kept getting hit, but we got back up and we're here. Yeah. 
I reckon the reason you say stress relief is you know how much this gap and points means one round to go. This is emotional for you. You've been involved in this for a long time, haven't you? Yeah, I, wanna, I really want to win the Australian Rally Championship. of have uh, grown up as a kid loving this sport and following the ARC and obviously uh, put a lot of time and effort into it behind the scenes. And, you know, it's just one of those amazing sports that just it brings you in and a lot of great people in, to be involved. And, you know, I want to say full credit to Dale, you know, who's on the on the money in the on the notes, but on the money from a rules side of things. And we had all those sort of things in front of us today. So it's fantastic to be here. Thanks, Scott Petter and Dale Moskett. Three, five, six, in round four.